Now we got our next speaker, who might be a familiar face for many of you who have been involved in the fight around the Atlantic Yards for years and years. Uh, he's involved with Develop Don't Destroy Brooklyn. If you're from Develop Don't Destroy Brooklyn, can I hear you? Barclays out of Brooklyn. 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 Yesterday in the, in the newspaper, Far City's mouthpiece, Joe DePlasco, said that the people who opposed Atlantic Yards opposed affordable housing and jobs. No, the people who opposed Atlantic Yards are in favor of truly affordable housing and living wage jobs, but we knew that this boondoggle would not be the way that Brooklyn would, would receive those jobs and that housing, that this boondoggle will end up being what we have today. A rust bucket arena that houses nobody, that is affordable to nobody, vacant lots as far as the eye can see behind the arena, and parking lots. That is not housing, that is not affordable, that is criminal. They promised Brooklyn 10,000 permanent jobs. This arena, this arena has 105, 105 full-time jobs, 1,900 part-time, non-living wage, no benefit jobs. They promised us 10,000 permanent jobs. They promised us in Brooklyn 2,250 units of affordable housing. Most of those units 83% of those units out of reach of those in Brooklyn making the borough's median income. That's not affordable housing. They promised us 2,250 units of affordable housing. They have not broken ground on a single unit. Not a single unit. But they built an arena. They built an arena that houses nobody and is affordable to nobody. They've announced that they'll break ground for the first tower, a prefab tower, modularly constructed, which means lower wages for the union members who do get lucky enough to get work. It's an experiment. It's a 32-story modular building that's never been built before, and they're going to dump it in our community. And guess what? Of 386 units in that building, nine will be affordable to families making Brooklyn's median income. Nine. And if Forest City Radnor continues to game the housing subsidies available in New York City, at best, by 2022, we will have 27 units affordable to Brooklyn families. That's criminal. It's criminal. It's criminal. This is a land grab. It's prefab. You better get mad. It's a prefab land grab. Now, this space where we're standing at was once a public street, public sidewalks, people's homes, businesses. That arena was once a public street, people's homes, and businesses. They're gone. Now this is a privately operated space. We are only lucky that we're allowed to be here today. If Forest City Radnor said, clamp down, we wouldn't be here. And I expect that may happen in the coming days and weeks and months. But we need to use this space to agitate. But we need to use this space as often as possible to agitate against all of these land grabs, against the fact that we were played. Brooklyn was played. Most of us here weren't falling for it, but those who weren't paying enough attention were played. So keep coming back to this site. One last thing. Forest City Radnor partnered with Acorn and a group called Build. Those were the two main groups 
that signed the CBA. Acorn was responsible for the housing and would benefit from the building of that housing and build responsible for the jobs. Why are they not with us today? Where's Acorn? Where's Build? They're silent because they're business partners with the developer, not representing the community on this project. We invite Acorn and its follow-up organization, New York Communities for Change, to take the lead role on this. We, the opponents of Atlantic Yards, we tried to warn people, we told people that you better build affordable housing over the rail yards because if you give 22 acres away in the heart of Brooklyn to one developer, he's going to sit on it and hold it hostage for decades, and that's what's happening. So don't blame us for this mess. Talk to the people who partnered with Forest City Ratner, and they need to join us. If not today, tomorrow, next week, this year, we'll look for you out here on this plaza. Thank you. I grew up around here, avid sports fan. I know that as a local Brooklynite, we understand that we love our brand of Brooklyn and we will support anything that is Brooklyn. We even just support the word Brooklyn. And those of you that know this, know I'm telling the truth. Now, this is the deal. What they did was they knew we would support this arena. But they're not supporting the community back. That is a travesty. That is disgusting. And wherever I've been around, 17, 18 countries around the world. And one thing they know about people in Brooklyn is we don't play that. We will not be disrespected. No. Everybody knows that. Because we walk around and they can tell, oh, that person's from Brooklyn. Or as soon as they speak, that person's from Brooklyn. There's some sort of quality control that we have living in Brooklyn. Okay? Fort Green, Bed Star, White Car, East New York, Brownsville, Clinton Hill, Brooklyn Heights. We all the same out here. But we are not going to be playing with. Where is our housing? Where are the jobs? We got to actually get mad and hold those people responsible. Now we can actually uh, boycott all the time, but the one way, the one way that they respect keeping people responsibility is when you vote they ass out. The only time they respect anything that anybody is doing is when you take their power away from them. You cannot remove the CEO of an organization, but you can vote out every last elected politician that was supposed to represent you. You can vote their ass out. That is the only one of the only freedoms that we have left that they're trying to take away from us. There's people in Fort Green Projects, Ingersoll Houses, for women houses, they used to go across the street for their polling. Now they gotta go all the way down to J Street, 0.6 of a mile away from across the street. They're trying to take that power away from you. These are crucial times. We need people to step up. We need to stop talking and start holding people accountable. Being that you are here, I see that you are stepping up to be accountable. So I challenge you. I challenge you, and maybe some people say, how do you challenge other people? Well, I challenge you to step up. Step up. I challenge you to step up and be accounted for. You know why? Because it's who streets? Our streets! Who streets? Our streets! Who streets? Our streets! Who streets? Our streets! Forward forever, backwards never. If not us, who? If not now, when? If not us, who? If not now, when? If not us, who? Thank you, Gulani.